Hello, everybody. Welcome to another offering by Vintique Motors. Got a 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Broham. So back in 57, this is what you wanted to be cruising in if you had the money. 400 made. This is number 300 of the 400. Stainless steel roof. Great fins in the 50s Cadillacs. It's a really nice survivor. Not a restored car. Came out of an old man's garage. He passed away. He had the car since 1972. So it's only been one owner since 72. So survivor condition, you know, a couple, a few, you know, paint imperfections. I'll try to show those to you guys best we can. So originally this car was a brownish color and the story I'm told uh, by people who know these cars really, really well is, you know, back in 1957 when you walked into your Cadillac dealership and you had the money to buy one of these and it wasn't the color you wanted, the salesman would say, oh, no, no problem. We'll paint it whatever color you want. So I'm told it was not very uh, uncommon for a lot of these cars not to be the original color that they left the factory with. And uh, I, I think this is one of them cars because um, now it's black. And uh, as far as I know, the, this has been painted black for decades. So that's my assumption. Go ahead and show you guys the interior. Before we go to the interior, I want to point out here, the glass is delaminating here a little bit. All the glass is in great shape. There's no scrapes, scuffs, scratches, cracks, any of that. This is the only boo-boo right here. A little bit of delamination in the top corner there. Now we got the suicide doors. How cool is that? So I'm told also that the seat inserts here, this bluish blackish material is not original to the car. Um, it's also in a lot better shape than the rest of the interior. So at some point in the past, uh, that was installed, uh, but everything else looks original. Headliner is in awesome shape. No sagging, no stains, rips, any of that. Dash is still in pretty good shape. All the gauges are working. Showing 73,846 miles on the odometer. You know, I don't know if that's original. It, it may be. There's some receipts that go with the car from back in the early 70s that show it had 61,000 miles then. So I don't know. Who knows if it's original or not, but I like to believe it is. The odometer is working, uh, you know, so it's, it's plausible. I know some of these doors on these cars are automatic open. This is the only one that I can get to do it. It's the passenger side. The carpeting on the driver's side is pretty well worn. Um, there are some Cadillac floor mats that go with the car um, that have, you know, helped that over the years, but uh, Ooh, this is pretty original, uh, you know, uh, it is original carpeting, so. I'll grab the keys and I'll show you guys the power trunk. So 
So there is a button in the glove box that also you can open the trunk. We give the key a turn and it should pop up. There it goes, automatic. Maybe needs a little help, there we go. How cool is that 1957? And then the key, turn it to the left, it comes down automatically. And it does shut, but it's an old system, so it, it does need a little bit of help in its current state. Give it a second here, usually it goes back. There we go. Very cool. In the engine bay now, check out that 365 with the bat wing air cleaner. Now the hood does not want to stay up all the way. The springs in there are pretty well worn. That's about as high as I can get it to stay. But we'll go ahead and check the motor out. Pretty original. Runs and drives awesome. We put a, a number of hours into getting this car running right carburetors are dialed in uh, brakes are dialed in so i mean it's just an awesome driving car should have no issues with it uh, but you know if you want to fully restore it perfect candidate if you just want a, a sweet patina driver can't go wrong with one of these jump around to the other side All the systems are still there, intact, like a time warp. Right now it's running on these Kelly Navigator radial tires. I'm not sure the date code on them, but all the, all the tires have the date code on the inside, so I'm gonna have to crawl under there and look. Uh, but the original hubcaps, you know, the, the stainless is in awesome shape, all the trim, is in awesome shape aside for back here on the rear bumper. You know, we got some discoloration on both sides. Front bumpers had a couple minor boo-boos. Big old Cadillac bound to hit something. Got those infamous Dagmars there sticking out up front. If you don't know who Dagmar is, get on Google. You'll get a good laugh. Everything shuts nice and tight. Gaps are really good. Just a good, honest survivor. Like I mentioned, this is number 300 of the 400. Been in long-term ownership since 1972. Gentleman recently passed. And uh, we pulled it out of, uh, it was moved to M1 Concours in Pontiac, Michigan, uh, where we pulled it out of there um, from, from the uh, original owner's daughter, uh, or the, 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 the gentleman's daughter, um, the long-term owner's daughter. So. Um, just an awesome car. Really cool. We're going to be taking this to bring a trailer. It'll have a reserve, but if you follow us on bring a trailer, it'll be aggressive. We take things there to sell, but if you ever want to check out any of our other inventory, you can head on over to Vintique Motors B I Z. We preview everything before it hits bring a trailer. Give us a call 734-956- 0041. Happy to answer any questions for you. Good luck bidding, everybody.